Jesse Smollett lied. It seems like, and this story is something that really kind of puzzled me and um, really intrigued me. And just, I don't know, it's just, it just keeps getting crazier and crazier and crazier. So this Jesse Smollett guy who, if you don't know, is an actor from Empire. I don't watch Empire because, you know, I'm not an idiot. Um, he supposedly um, suffered an, uh, he was suffered a hate crime because he was gay in Chicago. That's what he kind of deduced it as. And the, the whole story goes that he popped out to go get a sandwich. He gets attacked by these two MAGA, we- MAGA hat wearing guys who shout um, racial expletives, um, uh, whatever it may be to him, say MAGA country, tie a noose around his neck and dip out, right? And then this tied in with the f- letter that was sent into Fox News that were threatening him. Just like, just, you know, crazy shit that happened. So it seemed really a sad and really bad thing. And I think the story also came out that he's supposed to be someone cracked his ribs and, you know, he was in pain and blah, 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 blah. And everyone had sympathy for him. And then, but then when the story came out immediately, it kind of seemed a bit fishy to me generally because it just didn't, you know, it just seemed like something that would come out of a movie, something like I have a bad script. And I think I heard someone mention it um, in another podcast that Jesse Smollett's um, alleged attack sounded like, it sounded it sounded exactly like what an actor would write when they're trying to write their own script, right? It just sounded ridiculous. So I, I wasn't really sold on it in general, but again, you're not going to be the one to kind of come out and say, hey, this guy's lying. I know some people were really brave in terms of the Joe Buttons, so it's kind of stuff you kind of called bullshit on it immediately, but I wasn't that um, brave enough to say it out loud because I just, again, you just, you just don't want to believe that people would lie about things like this. It happened it, same thing that happened during the whole um, Harvey Weinstein thing, right? Wasn't there a lady that accused Harvey Weinstein of sexual assault and it just transpired that it wasn't actually true? She lied completely just to get herself, um, you know, um, some spotlight to get some, some attention. There's the other lady that was a friend of Rose McGowan who also uh, was accused, was kind of accusing people of sexual assaulting her and it transpired that she had sexual assault with another dude. Like, it's just, you know, there's this whole vict- the victimhood has been put on the pedestal. So, you know, it's no surprise that some people are going to want to be victims or to kind of over their message or to kind of get in on the action and you didn't want to think that about Jesse Smollett right because I watched one interview of his on the breakfast club and he came across really cool really funny um, really intelligent but again he's maybe too ideologically possessed right he's he's really on that he's really riding that Trump is a racist train and really kind of you know fighting the whole Black Lives Matter fight and just you know doing everything apart from just being a great actor which can you always kind of look a bit strangely at, right? In general, because of, again, if I was a fan of Empire, I wouldn't really give a fuck about his political leanings because I just want to watch him be a great actor on TV. I don't care what he thinks about the presidency. Um, the people that I want to care about it, I look at those, and I, I don't know. I just I always feel a bit weird. It's always a bit. I always my, my, the warning lights go off for me when real, really high profile public figures are overly political. Um, they're usually trying to you know steer the conversation one way. They're usually trying to. It seems a bit self serving for me, in, just in my opinion, right? I don't necessarily care what any actor has to say about anything that's happening in society. That's not what. That's that's not where I see their place in society. Their place in society for me is to inspire to take people out, you know, to kind of like make you tap out of what's happening on the outside world and escape into this world and see them act and see them, you know, just, just again, escapism. I don't want to hear them kind of, you know, um, talking about how shitty the world is from their privileged uh, pulpit, just my opinion. But anyway, the story goes on, it transpires, it kind of rumbles on, they investigate the story and now it kind of transpires that supposedly, 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 Justice Smollett actually orchestrated this whole attack himself in an effort to kind of, make sure his character wasn't killed off on Empire. That's the story that supposedly he heard or caught wind that they were going to phase him out of the show or something along those kind of lines. So to gain sympathy and to make sure that, you know, he kind of played the sympathy card and tugged at the heartstrings. He concocted this um, whole um, attack so that he could remain on a show. And it just really baffles me because number one, it's such a shitty attempt at it because, you know, effectively, you know, you see a lot of videos sometimes of people doing weird shit they thought they could get away with. But this is just insane. Like, what? How did he honestly think that he could get away with making the story up and people not investigate it? And especially um, in Chicago, right? That's you know, they there's already an, a magnifying glass put on Chicago with the amount of gun crime or the amount of violence, the amount of people get killed there. Gang violence is on the up. Um, the Chicago Police Department is always under the microscope too for being corrupt and all that sort of malarkey. So. If ever there was a case that they had to get right, it would be this case. So it seems like, look, from reading this blog, this um, uh, CBW blog, which kind of like talks about stuff on the on the ground in Chicago, they were calling bullshit on it. 
from a while back ago saying that sources were telling them in the police department that they weren't sure about it because Jesse Smollett was really being hesitant, his hesitant to give them the phone records and you know people are like you know what if he doesn't want to give or hand over his phone and understand that because he is a celebrity he might be a dealer celebrity but he's a celebrity nonetheless there might be some incriminating things in there that might put other celebrities in trouble but what happened what what the, the thing that's funny about it is that he gave them the phone records after a while right but he gave them redacted phone records and what happened is that I think the police already had his phone records anyway, but they asked him to give his to give you know to give his copy of it, and he took off some numbers or redacted some issues on it, and whatever was missing was the pieces that they needed to put together. So the police were able to put together the case because he omitted some numbers or some details from his phone records, and they were able to marry up with the records that they had, and immediately they caught him, and then they brought in these. The two alleged attackers on the video were uh, supposedly two extras that work on Empire, these two massively built um, Nigerian dudes who kind of um, are on Empire. They flew back to Nigeria after the filming. When they landed back into the USA, they were immediately picked up, interrogated, and it seems like they immediately flipped on him. And now we have this interesting case where I just, I'm interested to see what happens next, which is his smullet. Like, what happens? Like, does, what's the punishment for lying? allegedly what is the punishment um because this is a really really serious issue like effectively he was trying to play up being a victim in order to kind of not get himself chucked off tv not even just to insert himself into public conversation right and again it's just it's just weird right he's already he's he's like if there was a medal for the oppressive olympics right oppression olympics he'd be he'd be up there he might be have a bronze medal right he's an african-american dude who's also gay um there's also there's always going to be pressures you know of him in the industry and society based like and he still needed to concoct another one on top of it and play into the whole um they're living in a racist country kind of thing motif and everyone that supports Donald Trump is a racist and Donald Trump is a racist thing it's just it's just crazy man and if anything it goes to show I think more more of these issues more of these kind of situations more of these more of this kind of rhetoric more of these fucking false hoax cases if anything, this puts this kind of reaffirms my idea or my impression that 100% Trump will get reelected on 2020. Number one, it doesn't seem like there's any kind of candidates out there at the moment who are really going to challenge him. But it seems like more, as more of these issues come about, the people that did vote for him are going to be even more encouraged to vote for him. The people that were on the fence are going to see the left's influence and you know this victimhood, this kind of like victim olympics this oppression stuff this power dominance hierarchy thing that they're always obsessed with on the left it's going to reaffirm their desire to kind of get that shit out of politics because you know no one wants that who wants someone to come into politics who kind of sees everybody as their collective group and not as a, a sovereign individual that's not how we want gov to be governed in um effectively and um yeah i'm just i'm just sad for everyone involved i'm sad for him i think it's incredibly embarrassing um, I don't think it's going to impact his career as much as people think it will do. I think we had to see the Covington case thing with a kid with a Native American guy was a good impression of it. I don't think people are going to care as much as people think as they think they're going to care. I think in general because he's a left leaning guy, people are going to sweep under the rug. But I think for him in general, it's super embarrassing. Like you know, he came out on stage with cue cards talking about how he got beaten up, and now it transpired that supposedly he made the whole thing up himself. And yeah, um, he's supposedly hired a really high class lawyer to kind of defend himself uh, from any kind of accusations of this but it looks like that is the case of the issue and again um i don't know like if that's what living is right to become a, a victim of something then i guess i'm not living right because i do not not want to be that dude well you have to kind of justify existence through um these kind of weird tactics but hey ho what do i know